Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to Friday the 9th of September. There's old Kai Kai, I was just asking Kelly, where's that old hee-haw at? She goes, well, she's in the barn this morning. But again, 37 degrees this morning. We got up, and uh, according to my watch, it is, I didn't look exactly what it is here, but my watch says it's 57 here in Toledo. <laughs> 20 degree swing within hours. Now watch, it'll probably be in the 70s. It's supposed to be like 90 in Vancouver, 95 in Vancouver and here in Toledo tomorrow. But the big thing, we're under red flag warning for like 15% humidity and winds. And everything's dry. We're under extreme fire hazard. So uh, we'll see how, how that works out. Fingers crossed for everybody. But uh, on that, let's start off a Friday. Let's, let's get it done. Let's get that weekend going. Maybe we can sit at the bistro table while the sun's beaming down on everything over the weekend. There's our buddy again. Standing in the middle of the road, you meathead. He was hiding in the bushes waiting for us to go by. Kelly goes, oh, look, he's waiting for us to go by. Sure is the world. <laughs> 79, it's kind of windy. Some crazy smoke haze out there. 79 and it was 37 when we got up this morning. I know that, it is bloody cold. That's just Ooh, crazy. Cold. Yeah, <laughs> it's dang cold. I don't think I've shook it yet. Yeah, <laughs> the dogs were all, I think oh, we have to start balls. not cracking the windows and turn the heaters on, man. I know. When you go to bed, it feels fine. You wake up with like, how did it drop so low? I know, and it gets cold. The car's freaking out. It's blasting that air conditioner. It's actually kind of cold right now. I know. It's like, because, well, you were used to that 37. Let me get you back down there. <laughs> well, Mama, the good thing is it's Friday. It is at that. All right. So let's have a great day. Work through it. And uh, before you know it, we'll be sitting in this automobile heading north. All right. Sounds like a plane. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. So I pulled the old Hero 10 black out with a microphone on a with a windsock on it because of all the wind. Of course, where I'm standing, there's no wind. There's definitely some fires out here. That's pretty sketchy, huh? Man, with this uh, severe fire threat warning we're in, definitely don't need no fires out here. But there are some fires around. They could definitely escalate. Man, all you smell is just wood burning. Crazy. I'm using that uh, power remote thing. It's got all the buttons on it, man. I think it's so nice. Don't have to touch the camera. Just do everything from the little pole. Yeah, you'd normally see Mount Hood right there. All you see is smoke haze. Smoke haze and wind. Holy moly. That wind is kicking now. Wow, it blew all in my eyes and everything. Look at this. Anyway, uh, this is the one um, a couple weeks ago now that uh, needed a uh, front brake pad, so he's back in for that. But. It doesn't go into reverse. No matter what, it doesn't go in reverse. It goes into neutral. So it's telling me something about that reverse lockout is not working on that thing. So I'm gonna get it up in the air when I'm doing the brake pads. We'll sort that out. Kind of crazy, huh? He didn't mention anything about that. Probably doesn't even know it's doing it. He probably never backs up. <laughs> It was just, uh, what's crazy, as you can tell, this has been this way for, what year is this thing, a 15? Yeah, it's been that way for seven years. The uh, coupler wasn't clipped all the way in for the reverse actuator. You know, the little actuator that on the 2022s, sometimes that's one of the components missing. The coupler wasn't clicked shut. So I pulled it apart, make sure everything was clean and in good shape. And uh, clicked her back together, functions perfectly fine. And what's the odds? The guy's bringing it here for brake pads. And uh, it won't go into reverse for me. 
that's some timing right there that happens to me and not the customer <laughs> anyway let's get some pads on this thing now that i'm through playing around with something else unrelated to why he's here but you can't leave him with no reverse you got your brake pads on but you have no reverse be careful where you park <laughs> can't do that all right nice fresh bricky pads installed Woo. gotta watch them first gears yeah people thinking there's that's something wrong with the bike I'm not gonna go in the whole detail it's a constant mesh technician or transmission there's no synchros the engagement dog suddenly grab ricochets through the Kevlar of the belt comes back and it just makes a noise and uh I was like, have you ever ridden a motorcycle with a chain or a belt before? They kind of all do that. Harley had a little thing. Oh. Really, guy? Anyway, Harley had a thing with my Milwaukee 8 had that. That had some kind of a synchro thing of some sort on the... Uh, when you put it in first gear about once in every I don't know hundred shifts into first gear it, it clunk but uh otherwise it just went silently in it was the craziest thing but I think they only did that for the 2017 model it was probably over complicated I never heard of anybody having an issue with it but my road king my slim I don't know, probably half the time or so. It makes no sound when it goes in. Sometimes they do. It's kind of impossible to have two little post things spinning. One's spinning, the other one's not. And all of a sudden you go whack. So you got spinning parts matching non-spinning parts. They kind of go bang. <laughs> oh, that's too hot with that closed. There's a lot of wind. You guys might get some buffeting. Well, I had to pick this way when that light's all busy, huh? Took me forever on this thing. He's complaining of one side kind of sticking and the uh, pistons had a lot of grunge on them. So I pull the pads out and I use this BMW tool and uh and i let the pistons come farther out and i cleaned them you know like i've showed you guys before with my little bottle brushes and brush brushes and got them all clean and backed them off let them come back out several times and um she freed all up he says when you grab the brakes it, it yanked you know like, yeah they do that every once in a while it seems to be common when you let the pads go way down oh really all right, I gotta shut off of this. That's absolutely crazy how long that took. <laughs> I'm coming right to another one. Oh man. So, you remember I was telling you guys yesterday there's parts of Oregon that they're gonna shut the power down at some point today or they possibly would, well inside they're going to shut the power down for like midday today until sometime tomorrow um this gentleman with the spider lives in one of the areas that's going to be shut down but i guess a short distance from him he's in oregon short distance from him his uh daughter is not part of that uh shut down because tomorrow you know it's supposed to be close to 100 degrees and what I was guessing was that they're afraid of um, wind blowing trees over into power lines. I guess last year, year before, at some point that happened and somebody's house got burnt down and they sued and won a crazy case against the PUD company. Really? Is this the world we live in now? What in the holy heck? How do you sue the power company for a, a random act of nature? 
don't know. Don't know, and I think it's really sad. So now, thousands of people, I mean, what is there, several million people in Portland? It could be big, because it goes, it's not just in Portland. In fact, Portland looks like it's the smallest area. It's like almost the entire state of Oregon. Well, the map, it's all a little splotchy places, but really. So if one person does it, gets away with it. So that's what's going to happen from now on. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of didn't look. I can see you in your mirror. You never looked. You're looking at the person you just dropped off and just pulled out. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. All your lights and your horns prove nothing. All it's going to do is get you in a road rage situation. You have to take care of you. Because if you don't, all, one, they don't see all the lights. Two, the horn just pisses people off. It doesn't stop them from doing anything. It's funny how I mentioned I never, I don't even know if the horns work on my motorcycles or not. <laughs> Every once in a while you randomly touch something and it goes off and you go, oh, hey, hey, look at that. I guess my horn works. How many of you are a thousand percent in agreement to that? The horny. Hornade's not, not going to stop anybody. Look at all the leaves everywhere. Oh, I just got to have a louder horn. Dude, it doesn't stop anything. Whew, this is a runner. See, look at this. It's not even fall yet. And you get a windstorm and all the leaves that... We're getting ready to fall. We're all falling already. The bad thing, uh, you know, when you get that beautiful fall and you just want it to last forever, this crazy rainstorm with wind always comes. So you got leaves that are, you know, just kind of waiting for their time to fall. Let's weight them down with, get them all wet and get them weighted. Then throw some wind at them. They just all go, whoa. <laughs> Holy moly, I hope somebody's paying attention to that kid. Look at all the little fir branches that have fallen out. They've had some good guffs to knock them things out. They they like a like a good amount of men wind before they let free. The big ones, when you get the big wind, get when they break off, they turn and they look like a missile coming down. It'll come in your windshield, through your roof, and every every other thing. <laughs> See how the limbs always they droop down. Doggy, it is fun to go out and ride out on a ride when it's uh, windy and stuff out here. Let's get this young man on the road. He probably wants to get home before the power outage hits. But uh, he didn't say, but I, I'm assuming because he was mentioning his daughter's not part of that. When it's hot, I would imagine he's probably going to go hang out with his, with his family. You got air conditioning? Can I come over? <laughs> Who knows? He looks like he's a pretty tough boy. He probably don't care. I'll wing it. I bet you we sell a bunch of generators today. Yeah, that's some good wind. I love it. does have that kind of a Armageddon look out here, doesn't it? Them smoky skies, it's just crazy looking out here. Oh, there he is sitting right out front. He's going, where is that smoke? <laughs> this 
what you call pickup service here. You just back it right up to the customer. <laughs> All right, I'm a bail out here. What do you think? I love it. Brakes good. Brakes are real good. Excellent. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Man, I just took this S1000RR for a ride. When it's cold, it uh, it sounds like an exhaust leak. And I can definitely see on the number two, it's a full aftermarket exhaust header all the way back. I can clearly see the number two is uh, is leaking. Cause I don't know if they, uh, I don't think we put the exhaust on, but I don't think new exhaust gaskets were used. So when it's cold, I don't know if you guys ever heard an exhaust header leak before, but they can actually have a very mechanical sound. So using the stethoscope, you do the normal things, you know, valve covers, rocker pivots, and stuff like that, but it only does it when it's cold. Sorry for the interruption. Another tech was waiting for me, and I felt funny talking. <laughs> so anyway, I think it's just an exhaust leak motor sounds are, are fine of course these motors are quite noisy because it's essentially a race bike but anyway it has to get completely cooled down we can try it again so uh i took it for a ride and and uh, yeah the motors like i say once that exhaust heats up it stops making the noise so things to figure out well hello there you do welcome to the weekend <laughs> Man, it's uh, just as smoky here, but virtually no wind. Yeah, that was crazy, crazy in Vancouver. Doors are flying open, and that was nuts. It's very, very windy. That S1000RR, man, if you're not going at speed and you get a side wind, that thing's like a sail. Things like yanking you over, like, holy moly, I'm sitting at a stoplight, and it's like, Whoa. of course, it don't weigh nothing, so it's all you holding it up, you know. I think that thing probably weighs less than, probably does weigh less than one of the Himalayans. I think it'll weigh nothing. It always shocks me when I pick them up off the side stand. I almost throw them the other way. They don't it's weigh crazy. anything. Danny roaming through. Man, that's strong. Yeah. In the house for a few minutes and you come out and like, going, man. Dang, it smells like fire. Really smoky. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I think we're going to call it a week at that. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. All right. See you in the morning. Appreciate you guys watching. Yes. Bye-bye <laughs> now.